Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. So I have a good one for you today. We're going to be discussing online darts. Now I have a list here of about six or seven topics or hints or tips, whatever you want to call it, that I'll be going over. And I think that's going to allow you to have the best online darting experience possible. Now, nowadays you can go over to webcam darts. You can challenge opponents from all over the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can live stream on Twitch or YouTube. You can even record your practice sessions and then upload them to YouTube or Twitch at a later date. But uh, I think these will really help someone. So what do you say we try not to make this video too long and we'll just jump right into it, starting with the most important tip first. So here we go. Okay, as you read there, the number one most important factor when it comes to online darts, lighting. You got to have proper lighting. You know, it doesn't matter. You could go out and spend $100 on a webcam, but without proper lighting, it's all for nothing. And specifically, I'm talking about shadows because me as the opponent looking at your screen, if I'm seeing shadows, it's very hard to tell where your darts have landed in the board. So you could be typing in a score and I'm looking at your board thinking you hit something completely different than what you actually typed in. Now, for example, I'll just wing three random darts at my board. Now, when I look at my screen, I can see that I easily hit a single, uh, single 13, a treble 14, and a single 19. There's no shadows there whatsoever. So please take a little pride in your setup, specifically no shadows. Okay, this next one is equally important. Just make sure your autofocus is turned off. You don't need autofocus for online darts. Your webcam is pointed at a stationary object, the dartboard, and it's not gonna move, so you don't need autofocus. And what happens if you leave it on? The incoming darts will sometimes trigger that autofocus. Let me give you an example here. And this is what the opponent's gonna see. So the incoming dart comes in, and the autofocus triggers, and they're just gonna be looking at a blurry board. So very simple fix, make sure your autofocus is turned off. Okay, so this next one's pretty simple as well. Just make sure you have a natural camera angle. Now what I mean by that is, uh, let me put a picture up on the screen of my setup really quick. I have a board coming out of the wall right around two feet and my camera is set right at bullseye height. And I think when you're looking at that or you're looking on the screen here, kind of replicates what we see in the PDC, a left hand camera angle at the entire board. Basically what I'm saying is avoid those weird overhead views where the camera is looking down on the board or if your camera is mounted too low. As a viewer or if, you know, if I'm playing an opponent and I'm looking at the board and it's a weird camera angle, it doesn't make for a very pleasant experience. So. Mount your camera preferably at bullseye height, either to the left or right hand side of the board, and you should be good to go. Okay, so this next one, make sure you show your darts before just yanking them out of the board. You know, this is online darts. There has to be some element of trust here, but in order to gain that trust, just make sure you show your darts and it resolves any sort of questions. But let me take you to the board. I'm gonna show you two examples here. Now let's say you have 32 left and your first two darts are right on the wire. So I know that my camera is mounted on the left hand side here. So that third dart comes in, I know that it's going to be hard to see or the person or the opponent watching the screen can't see that. So just pull these two darts out first and just say, all right, you know, third dart and that's it. Or when you're actually, when you're scoring as well, you can be blocked off. Like say the first two darts go low into the 20 segment and that third dart hits the treble 20. Now looking at my camera angle now, I know I can't see that third dart. So just pull those two first and there you go. Write down your 100 score and that's it. But make sure you show your darts before pulling them. Okay, so this next one's more of a common courtesy, but please be aware of the background noise while you're playing online darts. No one's gonna wanna play against you if you have screaming kids running around or a dog barking or a phone going off constantly. And I know there's a lot of guys out there that like to listen to music while they play online darts, but if you're live streaming on Twitch or trying to upload a video to YouTube and there's music in the background, you're going to get hit with a copyright strike. So avoid music altogether when it comes to online darts. And uh, in general, just keep background noise to a minimum, very simple. Okay guys, let's wrap this video up before it drags on too long and I bore you guys to death. But if I had one webcam to recommend to everybody out there, it'd be this one pointed at me right now, the Logitech C615. 
I got that on sale somewhere around Christmas time a few months ago for less than 30 US dollars and offers a 1080p high definition image. And for those wondering, I have a Logitech C922 pointed at the dartboard. But again, if I had one camera to recommend, it would either be this C615 from Logitech, and they also offer a C525, which is a great camera as well. But I would, uh, you know, push came to shove, I'd go with the C615. You could probably pick one up on sale on eBay for probably half the cost. So probably right around $15, $20, who knows. But uh, why don't you guys get yourself a camera, get playing some online darts, have some fun, get making some videos, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Later. Boom! Couldn't leave you guys without a bonus 180 clip. There you go, guys. 180 with the Frankensteins. Hey, make sure you get away, uh, get in the giveaway for the Frankenstein darts, my replica set. That ends tomorrow. So we'll see you guys later.